my creative birds. Welcome back. It's me, Tiffany. I'm stuck on a cloud. So I um, am actually um, in front of the camera today. I feel really weird, just so you know. This is, I'd rather be on the other side or be a hand model, as my husband says, and not like this. But I am sharing with you some of my craft room today. It is, um, it's cleaning day here at the cloud. We are cleaning this room today. I'm going to show you a before and then I think I might record myself cleaning and let's just see how I organize things. And then I will show you some of my organizing stuff, um, some of my boxes and um, storage stuff and where I keep all that kind of goodies and um, I'm just gonna get dirty. T-shirts gonna get messy hopefully that means it's gonna get cleaner too you know always gets dirtier before it gets cleaner or something I don't know anyways so stick with me and I will show you around so here is the lounging couch area I guess I don't know but it's a mess um, some thrift store finds I need to put away. I have got a cloud swap that came in. I have some um, goodie pen pal stuff that needs to go out. My closet, a pile of socks, a pile of mix match socks. Yes, mismatch because my boys always wear two different socks for some reason. I don't get it. And then I have the, I'm going to my charger for a second. Then I have the ironing board full of stuff that I was in the middle of trying to sew. And a Danny tripod. Two. Or the lounging couch. Um, my wood shelf. And my other desk. But, um, yeah, I just need to clean. And then this, this ladies, this, my creative birds, I am going to show you what happens when I journal. You ready? Boom. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is real. I'm not hiding it from you. Legitly telling you. I have to clean today. I have to do better with all this, all this jazz. So, my desk, my table, which is another mess. I am going to be hopefully today making um, my May journal, even though it's like the 6th of May. That's how bad I am. But. That's what all this is out here for. I'm going to do a video for that. Um, my printer and my papers. And a little happy wall that I'm still trying to build. Um, yep. And there's my desk. It's a mess. This is, this is real. Showing you all the glamour and glitz. Look, even my little banner is falling. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, welcome to my mess. Welcome to this crazy craft room. And I hope you stick with me through this cleaning process. Because it's gonna, it's gonna take some muscle. So here I'm just um, cleaning and organizing and getting rid of some stuff. Um, excuse my big tushy in your face. <laughs> As I watch you through this, I realize I got a lot of my tissues. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm just kind of going through and 
reorganizing and putting um, stuff away. <clears throat> there I had a bunch of mini albums that I was kind of sitting in the box and I put it away on the shelf and now I'm going to use that box for my um, the cloud swap. Um, I've been putting stuff in a bag that I've been keeping to put in cloud swaps but this box will um, will be even better to throw stuff in for cloud swaps when I come across things. I just kind of throw it in there so when I put together my cloud swaps I, um, I can just grab from that box and and make some goodies to send out to my pen pals. And I'm just trying to find some music on YouTube. <laughs> and um, I was going to cut that out, but uh, whatever. That's, that's what I was doing. <laughs> so, I'll let you watch me continue cleaning for a bit. So this is all um, goodie finds that I found at Salvation Army. Um, I am going to do a goodie finds video on on those items, and I, so I didn't really put them all away. Um, but that's what all that pile is. Um, some really good thrift store finds. So keep a lookout for some goodie finds from that one because that that was um, pretty good. And now I'm sorting through my children's mixed match socks <laughs> because my boys will like not do the socks and they will just grab from piles and wear whatever and then it makes it hard to put them away because they wear mixed match socks all the time. So here I'm just going to do a little voiceover. I was actually me talking and then I realized that I left my music running in the background and I don't really know about the whole copyright thing and I just decided just to take the volume off and I will just over voice it. I was just showing you some of the goodies that I found at the, um, the thrift store and I will be doing um, a goodie find with those. And then this here I was showing, this is where I keep my magazines that I cut out from. Um, I just throw them in this little bend here and then I just keep my blankets in over that. And so if I want to look for something in a magazine, I just kind of go there and dig through that. And I don't really need my, best, my blankets anymore because it's getting to be nice warm weather. But that's where I keep... Um, those uh, my magazines I have my cutting mat here which is amazing but I don't really get to use it because I have no place for it um, the plan is eventually hubby's gonna make me a new um, new table I want it to be uh, more wider and shorter so it will fit on top of it um, but hubby is also holding this craft room over my head like a carrot to clean and organize the basement first <laughs> so he's like I'm not I will build you and make everything wonderful in your room but first I'm not going in there until the basement is done <laughs> so yeah I need to get to the basement so then I can have my craft room and then um then here I was showing um that um that little box right there the red box is where um I keep all my wooden stamps. Um, I used to have like, oh man, millions of stamps. I probably had like 10 of these boxes full of wooden stamps. So now that's just, I have that um, where I keep my stamps. And then I also have some that are on the shelf over there. And then some on that little um, little bowl on my table right there. And that's where I, where I store my, my wooden stamps. And yep, I think from there I'm going to do some more cleaning. Um, I'm going to be cleaning this section. <laughs> um, I uh, didn't really put everything away because um, 
I am working on it right there, but I think I'm going to cut off here for a second because I am going to be talking to you guys here in a second on the video, so... to make this was actually one probably I made this 12 13 years ago this was one of my first little art um, stuff that I've always had hanging by my front door I don't really have a spot for my front door right now but I don't want to get rid of it because I really liked it I did the back and um, so I'm not really sure what to do with this. And then this was, um, I had this on my Etsy shop for quite a few years and I made this the same time I made that. It's a little tree with hearts and I finished the back. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these two things, but I also wanted to show you my, my little wood dolls. Some of them, though, I was very upset in the move because I made these when I lived in Boston. And some of them in the move, the packers didn't um, pack them very nice, so some of them kind of got messed up. But I loved my little, um, my little wood dolls. I cut them out of the wood, and then I would, um, I would paint them and then decorate them with paper and the ribbons. And, and that's, if you guys see my journals, you would... Um, notice the little ribbons um, that's I bought a whole bunch of those when they were at Michael's at the time for this reason and then I haven't made these because they didn't really sell very well I don't know why because I just thought they were like really freaking cute um, so I have tons of ribbons I do want to make make more of these I need to make little boys um, this one kind of and got a little messed up, but she was like the little fairy tale, um, fairy tale girl, and um, little flowers and butterflies, and then her little the little hanger on it, and then this one actually was the one I kept. This was the first one I made. I had this one on my wall. I kept this one. This was my favorite one, and this is the one that kind of messed up the most. Um, she had a little, her little wooden heart and little striped leggings and she was so cute but she got really messed up in the, in the move so I was really upset but this one I didn't try to sell. I had her hanging on my wall so yeah I don't know if I can fix her or not. Um, I just haven't gotten around to that yet, but that was some of my wood wood dolls. So um, if you guys like the wood dolls and you want to see more, if you want to get one, just comment below or message me on them because I really loved making these with three boys. I didn't get girly stuff, so to me, this was when I was making them. It was like um, dressing up a little girl if I had one. <laughs> So anyways, I wanted to pop in and show you my little wood dolls real fast and some of the other stuff that, um, that I've made. So this shelf is where I keep all my wood, um, my wood projects. I, um, cut wood out of my squirrel skull and then do art on the wood shapes. 
So I um, did that a lot before I moved here from Boston, and um, so I have some some already done and made up, and then some that are are um, just plain wood that I need to um, to paint and decorate and put back in my shop again. And then here is the epa of all messes <laughs> of my room. Um, this is where all the books and the papers and the bookshelves and um, yeah, that's, this is a this is a mess. Um, I'm just folding the paper or the, sorry the fabrics, and I have a little basket underneath my desk right there where I keep some of my um, some of my fabric things that I use for making journal covers and some of the vintage seats and vintage. Um, pillowcases and stuff like that I keep in a little basket underneath there and um, so I'm just trying to figure out where I'm organizing and putting things and yeah it's good times good times um, those are the boxes that I use um, for storing some of my stuff I do go over that um, in a little bit here in the video this is where I keep my stickers um, and keep them in that little box there most of them um, I know I do keep some on my little tray but um, and then the other boxes is where I keep my acrylic stamps and um, I need to find a better system than those fabric boxes for my acrylic stamps because I have to pull out the box and dig through it every time I um, I need acrylic stamps so if you have any suggestions on how to store acrylic stamps for easier access than in boxes, please leave a comment below because I would like to know how you store your acrylic stamps. So here I am just sorting through all of my books that I use for my journals. Um, these are the books that I either um, use, tear the pages out to put in my journals, or images that I cut out and put in my journals, or the images that I uh, copy and, and put in my journals. I, you guys know that I like to do that so I'm not messing up some of the books. But that also gives me um, no room, which I'm realizing I have no room for books <laughs> because I'm not like using them for tearing out the pages. And um, that is one thing that I uh, need to figure out when we re get to redoing the room is more shelves for for my books for for journaling. And um, this section definitely was. Um, the longest part to clean and the hardest because when I journal usually everything gets thrown right here and um, so yeah I just need to clean it all up because I just it gets tossed on the floor when I'm sitting at my desk right there and um, just need to put things away and and, uh, and I'll probably end up needing to get another um, roll card or something I need to figure out something but I'll just let you guys continue watching while I'm sitting here trying to figure out what to do with all of my stuff. <laughs> so, yep, I'll let you um, continue watching and I'll pop off.
So this is my desk. Um, this is where I sit and I create my pages here at, um, at this desk. That roll ink, this is usually typically what it looks like every morning when I'm creating. The roll card is pulled over right there and um, I have stuff spread out all over the desk. <laughs> Um, the future plan and dream and wish and hope and hopefully it will happen one day is hubby is going to make a long wooden um, desktop across the whole entire span of the window and then on the walls on each side of the window will be big um, shelves and um, and drawers and stuff built in so then I'll have the whole width of the window would be one long desktop space so that will be pretty amazing and I know he's capable of doing it because he's amazing um, at building things it's just a matter of me getting that stinky little basement taken care of <laughs> and I don't really know what to do down there because my laundry is down there and you know it's, it's a basement with a laundry in it I have a table and I have hanging racks. I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, I, I'm probably gonna end up having to um, say pause you guys while I um, do the basement for like a week or so with creating. But anyways, this is just me cleaning up my desk a little bit. And I'm going to be um, hopping on here shortly to show you some of the container boxes that I store my stuff in. So, um, I know a lot of you have been asking about my containers, so I have a few things to put away. I thought I would, while I was cleaning, I would show you some of my containers. So first, I found this at the thrift store. It's just stuff, yeah, I don't know for say if it actually is vintage, but it looks pretty vintage to me, but it was cute little flowers on it and stuff. And this is what I keep. And I'm sure you've all seen me dig through it, but I um, was going to put away some tags. So I keep the little um, ticket tags, the little tiny price tags, um, little labels I get, like the vintage um, little labels and stuff like that. I put a do paper doily on the bottom of it, and that's what I keep. All that stuff is in this container. And then I have this cool box. I actually have two. Um, there was a smaller one that fit inside of this. I got this at Amazon. It's a little lock box. Um, the other one is on the shelf that I have scissors in. But I keep little... Um, Little piece, like this is a, a, one of my husband's cigar boxes because he smokes cigars, but I get really cool boxes from it. So I keep little, um, the little tiny, tiny pieces. They so haven't really dug through this box that much on my videos, but this is where I keep all the little, the little pieces. And then this is just where I keep, um, a lot of my random, not really like these are little, little tags and borders and this is just random, random stuff and I was going to keep my extra, my extra states in here with the random. It's just pretty much little Little die cuts and embellishments that don't really have um, a, uh, a theme or a home or anything like that. I keep them in here. Stuff. So that's that box I keep things in. And this was a quote from Einstein I thought was really um, 
It just really sounds like me. If a cluttered desk is a sign of a cluttered mind, what of what then is a empty desk a sign? Is it an empty mind? <laughs> creative people make creative messes. So then also I have these boxes and I know you've seen me all dig through these boxes um, this one is my animal one because I was putting some of the bees stuff away so I keep my little um, wing friends on one side and um, all the other animals on that side my friend um, and across the street neighbor <laughs> it's nice to have a friend right across the street um, he's been wine boxes. She was at the grocery store and um, the guy was putting in a, making a display with the wines and she asked um, what he was going to do with the boxes and he said he was going to throw them away and she was like, uh-uh, I'm taking some. So she had a whole bunch of them and she gave me, I don't know, like six or seven of them. So I use um, a few of them to keep my... Um, my little embellishments in. This was my animal one and then I have I have my little bits and bobs and I know you've seen me dig through here and uh, this is where I just keep all of those and I don't really have I want to get another cart. I don't have another enough cart so they just kind of sit on the floor right now by my desk um, so I need to get get um, another rolling cart for for that. And then this was just one of those like paper mache plain boxes. I, um, oh, I think, nope, I thought my son, the school bus was, was pulling up. It's getting about that time. I bought this long time ago. I, this is probably like 10 years ago, maybe longer. I, I did a bunch of like stencil painting on it, but this is what I keep a lot of my um, more bigger, chunkier, random um, embellishments in here. Um, a lot of these actually were props that I used to use in my Instagram photos. Um, but these are just more. Um, more bigger embellishments and things that I use on my paper, my pages and stuff like that. Got this from a pen pal. So I keep them in this box. Someday eventually when I get around redoing everything, I'll probably get like cuter boxes, but this I just had it in around and that's what I keep it in. And I have a little spot underneath the drawers of my desk on the floor that I just kind of keep it, keep it there. Yep, and then there's some little tags I'm putting away. So, that is some of the boxes that I um, I keep some of my stuff in. So I'm going to continue cleaning, and then I'll pop back on again. So here I'm just trying to organize my um, little rolling cart that I use. I use that every day when I create my journals and it does get pretty unorganized and sloppy and things just thrown in there when I'm done. So I'm just trying to kind of put it back together again, kind of organize things in in the cart so it makes it easier for me to um, find things when I'm looking for it so I'm not spending hours digging through all my stuff when I'm doing my journal pages like I normally normally do spend a while making journal pages because I'm digging through everything <laughs> so anyways um yep I'm just kind of cleaning this section here and I'm getting to um my paper section which is kind of tricky because um, once again I like my books I have a lot of papers and I'm running out of room for the papers too <laughs> so anyways I will let you guys um watch me run around like a busy bee. If I actually really moved like that in real life this fast, it would be amazing. And I probably would weigh a whole lot less <laughs> if my real life body was like on fast forward speed. <laughs> I pretend on a video that I'm fast forward speeding though. So anyways, 
let you watch me um, play with my papers. So now I'm starting to clean my desk area and um, my uh, son will pop in. Oh, there's no one. There he goes. He's such a, he's such a camera ham. He had to, he had to do that. He was actually sitting in here on the um, lounge couch while I was cleaning right now. So he, he likes to come in when I'm in here after school and this is me yelling at him. Not really yelling, but he, oh, he's the one every time I, I I have a charger on my desk and then next thing I know it's missing and then his broken charger is plugged in to where my other charger is because he always takes it and he's like no I didn't but I am the only female in this house and I buy myself pink chargers <laughs> and yet no one always has pink chargers <laughs> But anyways, he likes to come in, um, if I'm in my craft room after school, he'll come in and he'll chill on the couch with me for a little bit. Um, can't really say it's like a lot of deep conversation, but he hangs out with me for a bit, so I kind of like that, that's kind of fun and cool. But yep, that's just me um, trying to get the desk all cleaned up, and then I will hop off because I think I'm going to be talking to you here in a second. clean except for um, I am gonna do a goodie fine um, thrift store goodie fine with those I was not put away yet because I wanted to record that um, closet closet um, it's not perfect but um, it is what it is for now until we can organ my re remodel and stuff. And um, please forgive me if this is bad and shaky, because this is um, my phone is on a tripod, and that tripod is on a tripod. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really explain it, but it's like one of those little like handheld tripods for your phone, and I have that wrapped around the big tripod. So. Um, this I'm working on making covers for, um, my journals. So I have, um, the two, two fabrics and I'm going to make some clouds. So I didn't really put, I just kind of cleaned it up some, I didn't put it away because that is a project that I'm working on hopefully tomorrow in my wood show for all my wood goodies and stuff. Um, those boxes are, um, that is a bunch of glitter, tons of glitter, um, ribbons, and just random craft supplies, and then this was my grandma's easel and her, her art set, so I have those, and then my extra, my extra desk here, um, these two drawers are empty, what I need to do is, um, my desk over there has sewing stuff still in it, so I need to transfer that and I could put other journaling stuff in those drawers over there. I just was trying to put everything away today and not really get um, organizing, cleaning kind of thing. So here's Mr. and Mrs. Cloud, Cloudy the typewriter. That is Mr. Cloudy, and that is Mrs. Cloudy, the typewriters. rainbow happiness shelves um so up here 
my flowers. I know I'm in a um, journal with me. I mentioned that my husband gave me the universe Valentine's together, and I like keep flowers in it. And some more ribbons, um, tape, or tape, <laughs> paint, um, letters, a bunch of just stuff in there. And um, just a bunch of goodies all thrown in all these little jars and baskets. Um, my smaller 6x6 six six papers and stuff. And then these are all the my um, my books for journaling. Like the kids' books, the golden books, the old books that I tear out of, the plant books, the, the bird books, all that stuff is all right here. And then... Um, my journals on my shelf, my book. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna take you off now. You fell off, I'm taking you off. Um, so this is the tripod that I had the handheld tripod on. And um so my journals and my book finding. It's in here I'm gonna do a video of how I do two of my books. Um, how I do the journals. Sewing stuff, scrap fabrics, sewing stuff. So I keep all my um, all my fabrics. So I'm not sure my fabrics are in these drawers. It's kind of old. It um, in the move here from Boston, that one fell off. We just haven't gotten around to um, fixing it. And this was actually how I was watering my ear, my ear plant. Hubby gave me for our anniversary. There's some other plants too, but so you just stick it in water for a little bit. I haven't dumped that water out yet. So this is some of what I keep my journaling stuff in. There's this little tower here. Um, I have little baskets that I kind of separate all the uh, little uh, journal cards and stuff like that. And here's where I keep those boxes desk. I'm going to do some pen pal videos. That's out too. I didn't put all that away because I got some pen pal stuff. Cloud swap stuff. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, so here I keep keep my cards. My wax seals. Some journaling. And then my Lego cards and stuff like that. These are all stamps. Opening those drawers. <laughs> I'll open this one. But yeah, I need to organize in here too. And then um, my carts. This is this cart is usually the one I pull over all the time when I do my journals. Um, has all my stickers and my ribbons. And keep my journal back there. Um, some stamps. And that's where I keep all my flowers and patterns and, and papers and stuff down there. And this is just, I used to do. Um, um, craft night um, when we lived in Boston I lived on a base and I used to host craft nights for all like the wives on base and they um, would come over and I'd have a project ready and stuff for them so that was all my extra supplies for um, craft supplies for that and I just don't really have a place for it so that's where it is for now I need to get another cart <laughs> and then my paints my paint wall my my clouds that I used to make. I still do make. I have a bunch of blank clouds that I could still make, but I just haven't got around to doing all that yet. So, yeah. And I, know, I love this. I painted the little rainbow on it and I put the ribbons on it. So my little um, binder thingy. And my pegboard that hubby made. Years ago, oh, this thing has moved one, two, three, four times. It's moved with us. And um, in my cloud swap box, I always throw goodies in there for cloud swap and extra. Um, that's some vintage sheets I keep in that basket, and also a lot of my um, flannel fabrics I keep in there. And um, my papers. I'm still trying to figure out 
I just need to get some more cards or something. I really need to re remodel, but that's that's gonna happen later. And then a crochet blanket that I need to finish. And that's my printer. That's I know you have asked. Um, that is the printer. And then my um, my desk, my sewing machine. I'm gonna be making a video of how I make my journal, so that's why this stops out because that's what I'm gonna be using. This is a mess. Keep stuff in the drawers there. Um, I'm making some goodies for a um, giveaway and for a friend for a pen pal. And then this, I don't know if I should do a whole video or not, but my hole punches started to um, liquidify. <laughs> I've had these things for probably 15 longer years. So um, I've been just taking taking the, the handles off, cleaning it, because I don't want to get new. I have so many hole punched. I don't want to go buy new on goodies, but they are old and apparently old. These old plastic handles, they, um, they get kind of icky. So, um, yeah. Taking care of that. So... So yeah, that was my day of cleaning the cloud studios and a little tour of it. Um, not perfectly organized, but how it is for now. Um, I hope you guys liked it and, and watching somebody else clean. You're not doing it. <laughs> and um, hopefully it will stay this way, but most likely reality will set in and by the end of the week it will probably look like a mess again because I will create and then I don't clean up my mess from creating because then I get up in the morning, I will do a page and then I have like, oh, I have to do laundry and then I have the garden and I have to run here and I have to do that and this and that and then I know like it gets piled up because I don't have time to put it away. So hopefully I can keep it somewhat clean and the garden is um, pretty much done. I am going to be doing videos. I've been videoing the whole process of all that, so there will be some videos on on that. And um, there's yard work happening in my neighborhood. Sorry. And um, there will be um, journal making videos here very soon, and some um, cloud swap pen pal goody videos, and then a thrift store find because that was a pretty good find that I have. But anyways. Um, if you guys liked this little video I did, I don't know if this was something um, you guys like to see. I know you've been asking me about storages in my room and stuff, so um, I did a long video for you. <laughs> so anyways, um, if you liked it, hit that like button. Um, if you have any questions, like always, leave a comment below. And if um, you have any questions, Please do so below. You want to share some love. Love you, love you much. I'd love to read all your uh, your little comments you share. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the cloud. And um, you won't most likely not see this face very often. I don't like showing this face. Um, I'd rather you should see my work. But sometimes I'll pop in and you'll see this face. And that's not a very glamorous today because I was cleaning. You might get a day of glamorous, but today I was cleaning, so. Um, so, yeah, if you like it, subscribe. Um, if not, okay. <laughs> Anyways, like always, spread love, smiles, and sunshine. Thank you.